Okay. All right, guys, August 21st, 9.57 a.m. I uh, tried to do this Facebook Live every Saturday, 10 a.m. for half an hour, one hour, depends on questions asked. We'll also cover a few things as far as rank and rent goes. So last couple of weeks, we covered a little bit about why rank and rent, why it's passive, um, a little bit about me, things like that. I don't want to go into detail, but today I want to start with keyword research, competition analysis. And for those of you who don't know, um, in the SEO group, the Facebook group, in the file section, we have an ebook that walks you step by step on ranking a website. And pretty much that's what we are going off of. So today's, we don't have any questions. Um, feel free to put in the comment and I'll see if we can answer that. But if not, we're going to dive deep into competition analysis, keyword research. So everybody does it different when it comes to ranking websites, when it comes to um, you know, picking a niche, things like that. What I usually do is um, I find cities, I look for cities, 100 to 150,000 population. And um, I see if I can find, uh, you know, find um, niches where it's a little bit more low hanging. And I'm going to go over what I mean by low hanging. Let's just make sure it's recording. It is recording. All right. Awesome. So usually when I go for, um, J online, a couple of people online. Just want to make sure we are live. Okay. So usually, what I would do is, you know, I would go to go and look for a city that's maybe a hundred thousand population or so. So, as an example, if I go to, you know, I I always open up this, which is the Home Advisor tab, and I go down here and I would click on Browse All Services just so I can find a list of niches, industries where contractors here, business owners here, if they are listed here, that basically means these people, these business owners in this specific um, industries, they are used to pay for leads, okay? So I'll have this open. And then what I also have is um, a list of cities, list of cities with population. So I have this also open. I would go and pick. And you guys are welcome to join my Zoom if you want to. I think someone's joining, you're welcome to. Um, and you can ask questions, okay? Uh, but I go to Wikipedia and I have this open so I can go and go down and look for cities, you know, 100,000, 200,000, 150,000 population, things like that. And guys, Too many windows, too many windows. Okay. All right, so that's what I have. Um, and then today I'm gonna to go over how I pick niches and cities to find low hanging fruits to rank um, for a rank and rent. Give me a second. Um, I'm gonna do one thing. One second. All right, let me share my screen again. So that's what I'm. That's what I do. Um, if you guys have any comments, feel free to put in the comment section um, in the Facebook group. But basically, I, here's what I would do, right? And this is what I was always doing when I had a day job, and I was, um, you know, like I just want to get out of my job, make some money, and I want to make a passive income. I would go and just pick a city in random. So I would say, okay. Anything between 100,000 and 150,000. <clears> and I would say, okay, let's look at Kent, Washington. Okay, I like that city, looks like a decent sized city. And then I would go here and I would pick something. And I would say, let me see. Okay, something that's not common. You know, a lot of us here guys are in plumbing and dentist and lawyer. I want to do something different, whether, you know, like drywall repair. You know, I'm sure there are people searching 
for driver repair in Kent, Washington. So then I would do something like drywall repair Kent, Washington. And I would see what the competition is here. And I just randomly picked these guys. Okay. I just went over and said Kent, Washington. I just went over here and said, okay, drywall looks good. And look, number one thing I see is it says 10 such as a month. This is the keywords everywhere plugin over here. So there's some searches. Now don't go exactly by this. It doesn't mean there are only 10 people a month searching. That just basically means it's not zero. There are people searching, okay? Usually in a population of 150,000, 130,000, 100,000 or more population, there are people searching for these services, right? The next thing I would say is look at, look, I would say is look at uh, GMBs and look right here. In the top three GMBs, there's one guy who's got a website. The next guy doesn't have a website. And the third guy doesn't have a website. Do you see that? Okay. This just says it's a low hanging fruit. Okay. Compared to any other search you do, uh, maybe like a dentist in Chicago or something, you'll find websites. I mean, GMBs with hundreds of reviews, website, website, website. Whereas here, we have a GMB that's got one guy in the map pack who's got a website and two guys, no websites, all right? What I also see in the GMB is our keyword is drywall repair Kent, Washington. I don't see anybody here with that keyword. I don't see anywhere. So this guy's got drywall repair, but he doesn't have Kent in the GMB name. This guy here does not have drywall repair. He's got drywall, but he doesn't have Kent. This guy's got drywall, but no repair in Kent. Does it make sense? So very, very, they're not optimized at all. That's what I'm looking for when I say low hanging fruit, okay? I want to find a niche and a city where I can put up a website and a GMB and without too much work rank and be able to rent the website for 300, 400, $500 a month passive income, okay? That's GMBs. One other thing I, I, I do with GMBs, I would click open and look into more GMBs and see how many pages of GMBs I have, okay? So it says there's 10 pages of GMBs, which is, which is a lot, but what I'm gonna start looking for is are all those 10 in Kent Wall, uh, sorry, Kent, Washington, that city. So the first page of this is, look at this, Federal Way, different city, you see that? Um, let's find Des Moines, Washington, okay, different city, all right? There are Kent, Washington, but Google on the first page of GMBs, even though it says 10 GMBs, it is showing up and bringing up results from neighboring cities. Okay, there's one Kent, Washington, um, there's a Federal Way, it's a different city, Federal Way, Washington is a different city, Des Moines, Washington, different city. Um, so you get the idea. It's a very, very under-optimized niche. Okay, the top two guys don't have websites, and the guy no website. Okay, um, a couple of more guys no websites. You know, another guy no website. Okay, no reviews. So pretty much, GMB is if we optimize a GMB, we can rank. That's number one. So any questions on this so far? Jay says, has anyone done interior designer? Yes. Um, as a matter of fact, one of my students in my course. Um, he has an interior design website. I know, I think in Ohio, and he, and he, and he pretty much a decent, decent money in, from that website. I think around 1000 and if I'm not wrong, about $1,000 a month, easy. So once I see this, the next thing I'll see is what kind of results come up in the organic listings. I have a bar, um, a toolbar here called a Moz toolbar, which basically shows the domain authority of the the websites okay it's not loading properly so let's see if we can load it properly let's see if it loads properly so i just want to get an idea of what kind of websites um are organic so the number one website is yelp.com anytime i see yelp.com yelp.com ng.com i love it because if these guys are ranking on the top that just means that they are so under-optimized. Look, zero backlinks to this specific page. The domain authority may look high, 93. That's because Yelp is a huge website. But this specific page, let me open that up, that's ranking for this keyword. My keyword is drywall repair Kent, Washington. It has only zero backlinks, that specific page, okay? 
let me see another inner page yet that come it's a it's a directory page another angels list.com you know home advisor inner page bbb contact do you see these guys all of these guys and another contact and the yellow page is bhg.org which is an inner page coach.com directory site so there's nobody ranking organic on page 1 nobody when i say no real business with a real website it's all directory websites okay um let me see most bar loads but you get the idea zero backlinks okay so this one say looks it says 500 backlinks okay now is that true i don't know so i'm going to go to ahrefs and see if that's true all right because most of the time if the inner pages are ranking i know i can outrank them if i put up a website that's optimized just for drywall repair and just for kent washington Just for my niche or service and my city, if I optimize a website, I put up a website something like drywallrepairkent.com or kentdrywallguys.com or whatever, and I optimize a website just for this service and this city, I should be screaming to the top over here and be ranking. The reason being, these guys are ranking with zero backlink. In a page, anytime I see in a page ranking, I'm excited because the reason in a page is ranking is because the the uh, in a page in a, a big site like yelp.com so when we opened up this guy okay this guy had zero backlinks we saw that over here okay but angels list it says 500 backlinks and i want to see if that's true why because again none of these moz toolbars or any toolbar you should believe them okay uh, you want to check it out now look one backlink you see that Ahrefs is a lot more accurate compared to Moz or the toolbars. So this specific website is ranking with one backlink. I mean, this specific page. Okay, how come he is able to rank with one backlink? How come this guy is able to rank with zero backlinks? The reason being, the domain authority is Yelp.com and Angels.com is so big and so powerful. Let me show you. If I go to Angels.com. and i look at the domain let me see how many backlinks they have 5.8 million backlinks okay 67000 domains like they are so huge websites that you put any page on this okay um any page any new page and chances are it's going to be ranking on page 1 somewhere so if i do ng.com okay and i i put a new page here something like uh um anything it could be free service um you know i don't know chicago but any city if it's if the competition is not too much they're going to be ranking they're going to be landing without any page any backlinks on page 1 of google okay so that's what i mean so when i come like any of these guys i'm pretty sure i can pick any of these guys okay um let's just say i pick up this page it's ranking here okay and i go here i pick this guy up Let's see if the most toolbar tells me how many pages, uh, how many backlinks. It says six backlinks, very less. I go here and I put it over here. Let's see how many backlinks. Let's see. Okay, come on, sorry, it's got one domain, two backlinks. You see that? So when I put up a website that is optimized just for this. keyword so i put up a gmb that's optimized just for you know this keyword and i put up a website something like let's say drywall repair kent.com i put up a website for this and i optimize just for my main keyword okay and i put in a pages service pages for each of the other services related to drywall okay so drywall repair is a home page drywall installation could be an inner page and i optimize it just for keyword okay for my keyword chances are it's going to come to the top here why because these guys are not even optimized properly they're just ranking because of the domain authority of the home page okay of the root domain so i'm not sure how many people are even live um for some reason my facebook is not showing anything i want to see if i have any comments but you get the idea now let me stop share